Okay, so for this um, project, what we're trying to do is take a, an image that we have made. So this is just a screenshot off my phone. Um, and then we want to apply it in a different setting. So I've opened both of these documents in Photoshop. And I'm going to take the Move tool here, grab this image, and drag it into the second image. So I just clicked and dragged. Um, and it brings this graphic in. Obviously, this is way higher resolution than the image I brought it into, which is why it's showing really large. The one thing I have to remember as I do this is to hold down the shift key to resize this image. So I hold down shift, and hold down shift, and hold down shift so that I don't distort this beautiful baby um, because that's a really easy way to show that you don't know what you're doing. Okay, so I've gotten it relatively the same size here. I'm now going to rotate it to match the rotation of the screen. And you'll see that I have a little bit of a problem here. So when I bring it in and I've rotated it, it's not going to allow me to show the whole screen that I've designed. Um, both these are JPEG. So if you're building this in Illustrator or InDesign, you can export your ad as a JPEG and, and open it the same way. So I'm going to lose part of what's on here. Now for me, if you're in this class, I'm okay with losing all this stuff at the top about my um, phone service and how much battery I have, etc. So I'm going to make it larger that way. I'm also okay with losing a little bit of what's on the bottom. So I'm going to, I'm going to match the rotation here um, and, and size it. So now it's still larger than what's here, but I'm able to go in and erase part of that. So I hit um, return to change the size and the rotation. Um, and then I'm going to, in the layers panel, I'm going to make this top layer a little bit see-through so I can kind of see what's in the bottom to see what I need to go ahead and erase. So I change that opacity down and I come up here and then I can, um, there's a few ways to do this. I'm, I have a pretty steady hand so I'm just going to do it by hand. But I'm going to erase the pixels that are in this area so that when I change that opacity back up, it looks like the phone has cut it off. Um, and because this is just a comp or a mock-up, you might be able to even leave that top part there. And if you wanted to, go ahead and delete it um, so that it matches the true proportions of the phone. You would just do the same thing at the bottom. Okay, so when I come back out and I make the opacity 100%, even that, which is not my finest work by any means, um, shows this concept better than if I just pasted it on a page. So that's the basics there, um, and hopefully it'll get you started and you can work through your individual question um, with help or um, just through experimentation.